does Central Ohio's pollution come from? Does it come from Columbus or from other places? Well, it depends on the weather. I'm Jessica Johnson, forecaster for Morpsey. Let me show you two examples. On August 3rd, surface high pressure was located directly over Ohio, creating very light winds. When winds are light and variable like this, they recirculate the pollution within Columbus itself. This trajectory shows that the air in Columbus recirculated back and forth, limiting pollutant dispersion. The end result is that air quality reached unhealthy for sensitive groups AQI levels. Almost all of the pollution in Columbus on this day came from the central Ohio region, not from anywhere else. Let's take a look at another pollution episode with completely different weather conditions. On June 24th, surface high pressure was located over the east coast and a cold front was approaching from the west. Because air circulates clockwise around a high, this weather pattern causes southwesterly winds to develop in the Ohio River Valley. These trajectories show where Columbus's air came from. The day before, AQI levels were unhealthy for sensitive groups in this region, and the southwesterly winds brought the polluted air into central Ohio. This polluted air contributed to the local pollution already present in Columbus. You can see that the AQI index reached unhealthy for sensitive groups on this day, just like the previous example I showed you. However, this day is different because over 60% of the pollution in Columbus came from other places outside of central Ohio. So where does central Ohio's pollution come from? Depending on weather conditions, the majority of pollution is from Columbus itself on some days, while on others, most of the pollution is transported in from other places. For more information, visit morpsey.org.